Shalom. I want to give all praises to you. Hawa, Ba'ashim, Hawa Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakar Kadash, Double Honors to the Apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom to the whole four leg on the four corners of the earth. Shalom. <laughs> First Timothy chapter 5 verse 6 but she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth <clears throat> and basically her pleasure is going to come upon her head because she was living lavish in her uh, captivity Esau's uh, kingdom Esau's heaven reaping the benefits of you know being able to be a whore or just having all the uh all the vintage given to her, you know, aka from uh, from Esau or Edom, the government, Wick, uh, child support, you know, all the all the little all the little gifts that um, Esau gives to to the woman because <clears throat> basically the the basis of it is Esau wants to get rid of the so-called black man, so-called um, Native American man, and so the so-called Latino man out of the household. So Esau could have his influence and spread his philosophies, <clears throat> which are his lies, into the, the minds of our women, which are the Israelite women. Because he knows, <clears throat> going back to um, the Garden of Eden, with uh, Adam and Eve, he deceived the woman, not the man. And he knows that a man will question everything, but a woman won't because she's the weaker vessel. And you're going to see <clears throat> even more so with this clip that's in a video that a lot of our women are going to take the chip because that's they don't know how to survive without being a whore or basically work hard for their money besides doing sexual acts they go out and receive benefits from the government which is their lord and savior and when the, <clears throat> the famine comes and when things start getting more expensive and harder and they can't live that lavish lifestyle that they used to live they're going to resort to either going to whoring going back to whoring um or taking the RFID radio frequency identification microchip, which is the mark of the beast, going back to Revelation chapter 13, verse 15, on down. So at the end of the day, the Esau from the Lord has the, a lot of our Israelite women in a trick bag. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 19, straight to the point, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their house with the sword, which is want any type of killing instrument, and spoil their goods, which is take their goods, because of the of the lack of bread, and for great tribulation, you know. So <clears throat> this is a upcoming prophecy that's going to come to pass, and a lot of these women that are so-called independent and living off the government, again, are going to get caught lacking. Because this is a future prophecy prophecy that's going to come to pass. And <clears throat> you're going to need a man, which is a, you're going to need a man of the Lord to protect you in that day. And again, when you go look at this clip that's in this video, this is just ridiculous. It's completely ridiculous. $10,000 just on food alone. I don't know what type of lifestyle you, you're living, but... Um, I mean, that's just plain out ridiculous. $10,000, that means you're eating out every day, going out to eat. You're not even cooking, even microwaving food to be spending $10,000, unless you're just buying a, <clears throat> a bunch of expensive ass food to microwave. But that doesn't even sound, sound practical, but anything's possible in uh, Esau's kingdom. Esau's queendom with a of ridiculousness.
this comment. $117,000 a year is $10,000 a month. It's not that I live a lavish lifestyle. It's that I live an adult life. I'm 25 years old. I'm 25 years old. There's, you cannot survive on $10,000 a month. I can't. I can't. For those of you who may not have seen my video, I just want to explain this, okay? $100,000 a year, or let's say $117,000 a year is $10,000 a month. My rent is $2,000. I eat at least $2,000 worth of food a month. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 9. Rise up, <clears throat> ye women that are at ease. Because everything is being given to you, making life easier and easier, but taking away the reality of what's to come and what's going on. Hear my voice, which are the prophets. Ye careless daughters, give ear unto my speech, which are the prophets. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 10. Many days and years shall be Shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail. Your vintage is all your little gifts that you receive from the government, you know, <clears throat> to make your life easier. But in, in retrospect, if you take away the government from giving you all your little vintages, all your little gifts, you would have to work just as hard as a so-called black man, talking about you Israelite women, mainly all the women here in, in Babylon AKA America, but mainly the Israelite women. The gathering shall not come. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 11. Tremble, ye women that are at ease, be troubled, ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon <clears throat> your loins. So the Lord is warning you to humble down and get right and fear what's to come. But fear the Lord, and, and may you be uh, protected in that day. Because the Lord's going to take away all your little gifts and, and, and you know, all that, all that pleasure that you're living in and make, make things uh, real uncomfortable. Because all your little gifts are going to be taken away very soon once the dollar collapse, martial law comes to pass and whatnot. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe she said two thousand dollars. <throat> I I could have sworn I heard ten thousand dollars, but maybe it was two thousand dollars worth of uh, food she eats a month. But even two thousand dollars is still a lot. And I know that things are exp more expensive now, but you gotta adjust with the times. You know, measure the times diligently. You gotta adjust and adapt. That's that's just crazy. Two thousand dollars worth of food a month. Come on, man. I can understand a couple hundred, not two thousand. Isaiah chapter thirty-two, verse twelve. They shall lament, they shall mourn. For the teats, which is the teats, is like <coughs> um, the nipple of a breast to receive nourishment for the pleasant fields for their fruitful vine so you're going to be a lot of you women are going to be crying in that day for some type of uh, care package or nourishment from the government and the only way you're going to get nourishment from the government is if you bow down to um, Esau by taking the um, RFID microchip that's the only way you're gonna receive any type of nourishment, nourishment, so you don't lament, you know, for the pleasant field, pleasant fields for the fruitful vine, and that fruitful vine is the government again, relying on Esau instead of relying on the heavenly Father Yahweh through His Son Yahusha, not living in reality because there's nothing wrong with wanting to live at ease, but the Lord said, this is not your rest, so we're going to go through some shit, point blank period, as a nation. Even the, the elect are going through this, going through technically worse, because we know through the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh, Lord, will we be of the elect? We are, we, we're not in the matrix. Our minds are not immersed in folly and, and wickedness. 
our minds are in spirit is immersed in trying to be righteous in a wicked land which is even harder because it's easy to be of the world and to give in to all the lust and temptations it's not easy to be it's not easy to be uh, righteous especially in a, such a wicked land we're, like, we're in the same boat as Lot same boat as Noah same boat as Abraham you know same boat as Elijah's you know it, it, we're in the same boat as Yahawashai, but this is just much, uh, much lighter affliction than when Yahawashai um, went through and had to go through in his time period back in the Roman captivity. Through great tribulation, we shall receive the kingdom of heaven through much temptation. Tribulation means great suffering. And that's what Jacob's trouble is gonna be all about, the test of faith. So. For a lot of you women, if you don't come in the fold of Hawaii Hawashai, you know, you're going to get caught by either the elect or the um, <clears throat> the reapers, which are the angels. They're going to zap y'all because y'all don't have the thawa, you know. So, Kahala Yahaw Bashim Hawashai, Bashim Kakadash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, shallow bonds with hopeful light from the four corners of the earth, and door to the end.